Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to go a little further into another video that I made. And the title of that video was, The Only Thing That the Narcissist Attaches Themselves To Is Supply. You are not permanent in their life. Only their need for supply is. Okay, so in that video, I talked about how we are the suppliers of the supply to the narcissist and not technically the supply per se. What the narcissist is getting from us is the supply and we're supplying it. So technically we're the suppliers of the supply and that's what makes us so interchangeable. But let me give you another example to draw off of and this should make it perfectly clear at this point. Consider the narcissist a drug addict. A drug addict trying to cop drugs. Now think about that. Let's say we have this crackhead and they're trying to get drugs, right? So they have a supplier that they get their drugs from. But what happens if they get word on the street that this other supplier's drugs are better? They might want to try that, right? Because they want to get a higher high. So they're going to go to the new supplier and then, hey, the drugs are better. I think I'll just keep getting drugs from here. But then one night, they can't get in touch with that supplier. So what happens? They just need some kind of drugs. Well, my old supplier isn't as good, but they're still good enough because I, I was okay with them until I had the new one, but I can't get that one. So now I'm gonna go back and use this one. My old supplier is better than having no drugs tonight. So. When you think of the narcissist in that sense, it starts to be clear. Now, what happens to these crackheads? They will lie, they will steal from their own families, they'll do anything to get to this supply. And this is what the narcissist is doing to us. Whatever they have to do to manipulate the situation to get whatever the supply is that they want. So if you kind of start looking at them as an addict, a drug addict, that is trying to cop their drugs. You'll start to see their sickness for what it is and the desperations that they're willing to go to to get what they want to get and how unhealthy it is. Okay? So I just wanted to kind of give you that example to draw off of because I think, you know, that makes it really clear. Whenever we can just make a real life example of things, it kind of brings it home right? So the narcissist is like a drug addict when it comes to that supply. All right. <laughs> so if this video registers with you, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I do upload videos quite frequently. You'll find a lot of information that'll be helpful to you. Please look in the description and check out my books. If you are struggling, if you are stuck in a relationship, and you're trying to get over the hump, I have books that help people work through these toxic relationships. And as far as getting out of it and doing the work to help you become healthier and whole after you've been devastated by a traumatic relationship, especially those like run-ins with narcissists, okay? So thank you for tuning into my channel. Um, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't. Share any and all of my videos. You feel welcome to do that. And until next time, guys, take care.